Okay. Anyways. Okay, this is actually a serious video. Oh, this is a serious video. So I kind of messed up. A few months ago, I sat on this couch and told you that I was quitting my freelancing coaching business, the Freelance Writer's Guide. I have made the decision to end the Freelance Writer's Guide, and I had good reasons to do that. As you may have noticed, especially if you're on my email list, in the past few weeks, I've kind of low-key started it up again. I feel like I owe you an explanation for this behavior. So as I mentioned in a previous video, I was really burned out, like really burned out, specifically from the Freelance Writer's Guide. Actually, from everything about how I had my whole business life set up was like not in alignment with my personality and like how my brain functions. I believe in astrology and human design. If you also believe in this, I will tell you I am an Aquarius sun, Aquarius rising, and Gemini moon, and I'm a manifesting generator. Additionally, I am neurodivergent. So basically, traditional business advice isn't for me. Also, I'm a woman, so I have a cycle, I have all these things going on, and traditional business advice is made more for men, Nothing wrong with that. I believe all people are equal, but we also are different. I basically got my MBA from podcasts and personal development and business books, which honestly were geared towards men. So I had this whole business set up and it was making me real sick. I was so burned out. <sighs> what are you eating? Yeah, I was very burned out. I had the whole thing set up wrong from the beginning. I was like always tense. I had really bad digestive issues all the time. I had, um, I kept getting like tendinitis and like rashes. I was like all messed up. Oh, and really bad insomnia. And that went on for years. Even when I like quit drinking, um, even when I, I guess I was never drinking while I had the Freelance Writer's Guide. I wouldn't have had the time, honestly. And it kind of like culminated to the point where from like fall 2022 to summer 2023, I was like a zombie. Like I was so tired all the time. I just had no energy. I felt so sick. My digestive problems were so bad that I was like, I could barely function. I started doing TBM, to be magnetic, which is the manifestation program that I do, which I will be talking about in my next video because it will be one year of doing TBM, which I'm super excited to share about that experience because it's been life changing. Anyway, so I started doing TBM. I started taking ashwagandha supplements and I feel like that created a little bit of space um, and all the stress and anxiety in my life. Well, I shouldn't even have stress and anxiety in my life. I am self-employed. I work from home. I'm not married. I don't have kids. Like I shouldn't be stressed out. <laughs> And then I saw a human design reader and she was like, you got to get your health together. Like your, your health is failing. So then I saw a functional medicine doctor and I can talk about this more in another video. The root cause of all of this was my gut bacteria was completely messed up and I had all these food sensitivities I didn't know about. The reason why everything was messed up is because I took antibiotics all the time because of my nasal problems. I don't know. I was like, my health was really bad for someone who was so young. So I did go on this special diet and it was, this whole thing was super expensive, but I'm really grateful I was able to pay for it. By September, I would say, I felt like a brand new bitch. Like I have so much more energy now. I have like the energy that I should have as someone in their mid thirties. It was like I came back from the dead and then I was like, well, what the fuck is going on in my life? Once I got my health back in order, I was able to like look at my work life and just be like, oh, this is so bad. And there, there's some reasons why I was 
really burned out by the freelance writer's guide. Number one, I had zero boundaries. I would answer any email, comment, or DM that someone sent to me. I looked at my social media and my YouTube statistics like all the time. I was always looking at my email and responding to emails. Like even on like days that I had planned to take off, even on vacation, I was like always checking. Just in case, just in case. There was also just a complete lack of awareness of how I function best as a human. This is the number one reason why I am so grateful that I took this time off because I learned so much about myself and how, how this old brain works. I'm excited to share that with you because I think it will be helpful for some people that watch this. Probably a lot of people. Um, so I was extremely structured with my work. I had a very like masculine energy approach to it. I feel like I've seen a trend recently about the three month year. So I used to do that. I'd plan out my quarter. I'd have all these ideas. I would try to follow that strategy, but not be able to for whatever reason, usually because my, you know, I was in bed. So I never gave myself any flexibility or grace and I would just like beat myself up over it when I had created a structure that I was inevitably going to fail because it was not set up for the way, way my brain works. I cannot function in that type of structure. I cannot function in really any type of structure. <laughs> I'm a silly goofy girl. I also believed mistakenly that I needed to find my one true thing. And in my last video about this topic, I said that I wanted to quit the freelance writer's guide because I wanted to focus on music. I wanted to focus on my music career. I've always been really like insecure about the fact that I have lots of passions that I want to pursue concurrently. In high school, you know, I was in plays, I was in choir, I was in marching band, I played the saxophone, I did Latin, I was like a very good student, but I wasn't like the best at any of those things. And I always was like, if I could just quit everything and just focus on being a saxophone player, then I would be the best saxophone player. And that's not my journey. Uh, I am jealous of people who are like that, who are just like really good at one thing and they just know that's their thing and then they just do it and they master that skill. But I'm not ever gonna be one of those people. That's not how I function. And in the past few months, I had the time to just focus on my music career. And do you think I did that? No, I did not do that. So once again, sticking to like the one true thing, that's a rigid structure and I can't live within that structure. I have to have variety. I have to have novelty. I have to always be learning and trying new things. And I personally like to switch between three or four passions of mine. And I'll be really into one for a couple days and I'll be like, all right, I'm done doing that for a little bit. And then I'm into something else for a few days. I'm done doing that for a little bit. And I just move around like that. I finally gotten into like a rhythm of doing that and I feel fantastic. And I'm finally like moving through a backlog of ideas I've had for years. I read a book recently called Refuse to Choose. I heard about this through the TBM community group. It just was so validating. If any of the stuff I'm saying resonates with you, like you have a lot of passions and you don't know how to pursue them. If you're a person who has a lot of things they wanna do, but you end up doing nothing because you can't really decide what your one true thing is, please read this book. I will link it below. It is life-changing. I might do a video on it, honestly, because I just feel like people need to hear this information. Anyways, for the last few months, I haven't really been working, at least like in, in earnest. I did have money saved, so I was able to take a break from working. At first I thought I was gonna like be setting up a music production business, but I really feel like if I had done that, I would have just been digging a grave next to the original grave that I just crawled out of. It would have just been the same shit, but with a different skill. I'm glad it didn't work out like that. I'm still doing music production. I'm still making music. I still enjoy that. I'm just like re really rethinking everything. My primary thing I've been doing in the past few months is TBM. I've been taking that very seriously. Through doing 
the daily meditations and journaling ex exercises. And I have an accountability buddy who lives in Germany. Shout out to Maria. I've been trying to figure out like what my next move is career wise. Like, what do I want to do? How am I going to make money? How am I going to continue to exist on this planet and feel good about that? But the universe has really forced me to look at some shit. You know, and I was like, I should cold pitch, I should get more copywriting clients. And then I was like, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna work for someone else anymore. I only wanna work for myself. As I mentioned in my last video about this, I did try to sell the freelance writer's guide. I wanted to do a private sale and I had like five or six interested buyers but then they all kind of dropped out one by one until there was only one left and then they offered me $5,000, which did not feel right. <laughs> you don't know this, but in the fall of 2022, I, I mean, I was already feeling so burned out then that I had reached out to Empire Flippers, which is basically like a they're like real estate agents, but for online businesses. So they like list your business and then like people can bid on it or whatever. So there was like a lot of paperwork involved in that. They had given me a valuation at $90,000 in the fall of 2022. So I was like, I'm not accepting $5,000. Like that didn't feel right to me. But since I quit doing stuff for the freelance writer's guide and like, I guess September, October, 2023. By the time I went back to them in December, 2023 and was like, maybe I want to list again. They were like, we can't help you because I wasn't making any money with that business anymore. So that was an interesting turn of events. So I still have the business, obviously. I also like have felt really guilty. And maybe this won't resonate so much with the people who watch these videos, but like the people who are in my course, the people who are on my email list. I got so many emails back, like the people were like really sad and I felt really guilty. I feel really guilty. I feel like I made this, built this community and then was like, okay, fuck you, bye. <sighs> I feel like I betrayed everyone and I don't like that feeling. I understand like I have to do what's best for me, but I still feel guilty. I also don't want to say that all of that was a mistake because I really needed that time off. I was so burned out. I couldn't have seen into the future to know that the burnout that I was experiencing could and would be healed in what, it's been like six months. That's crazy. That was a crazy six months, let me tell you. Whew. I also wanna manage your expectations though. I am back, kind of, with the Freelance Writer's Guide. I have better boundaries now. I don't need to answer every email and comment and DM that I get. I want to work on the Freelance Writer's Guide in the part-time, casual way that I am working on my music and this YouTube channel and improv. Like it's it's a fun thing I'm doing. Everything is a fun thing that I'm doing. I have all these ideas for these mini courses on different types of copywriting that I want to teach you, but there's a lot of things I'm not gonna do that I used to do or I used to pay someone to do. I'm not doing, I'm not gonna be on Instagram. I'm not gonna be on TikTok. I do not have the bandwidth or the desire to show up as the freelance writer's guide on those platforms. I was going way too hard on the content creation before. This should all be joyful. This should be fun. This is fun, creative stuff. Let's not like make ourselves sick. It's like not that big of a deal. As for this channel, I am moving away from freelancing topics. I might still talk about freelancing, but like in a vlog type way, not like, this is how to cold pitch a client. This is how to set up your portfolio. Like I'm not making videos like that anymore. I'm not making these like educational tutorial videos anymore. I might still make content like that, but it's going to be like, a webinar. If you are interested in stuff like that, the best way to be notified about that is to be on my email list and I'll link that below. And in the sign up form, you can indicate if you are interested in this YouTube channel or the freelance writer's guide or my music or all three, you know, if you're my mom. I am not gonna be making any strategies here, uh, any crazy strategies I can't stick with. 
that are too rigid. So we'll just see what happens with that. I also kind of like want to redo my course because I've learned a lot since the last time I updated it, which was two years ago. And the world is different now. So we might need to talk about that. But as for this channel, I will not be doing the tutorials anymore. My biggest videos are still like, this is how to start as a freelancer in 2023. Eventually those videos will die. I'm transitioning topics, which I've already kind of started to do, but then I kind of backtrack. No, it's confusing. I think that we as a collective have a tendency to believe that people who are like influencers, online educators, YouTubers have it like all figured out. I do not have it all figured out. I am still trying to figure things out. I have some things figured out, but life is a highway. You know, <laughs> things change. We'll just see. If I feel like making a freelance video, I might make it. I don't know. One thing I have figured out in all of this is that I really love YouTube and I just feel like maybe I should pursue YouTube more. I started this YouTube channel to just promote my business. I didn't even, I never thought about myself as a YouTuber. I love YouTube. I don't have Netflix or like any streaming. I only have YouTube premium. I like only watch YouTube. I love YouTube. On this YouTube channel, I will be pivoting more towards like personal essays, stories, vlogs, personal development videos. I, I think I'm gonna do some like a series of personal development videos this year, but it's not gonna be like the shit you would usually expect. It's gonna be like different kinds of stuff. You know, I also wanna talk about like health and wellness, human design, astrology. I definitely wanna talk about like manifestation and TBM more. Uh, but don't quote me on any of that because I've also thought about doing a series on decorating my house, so who knows. It's really important to me that I be allowed to follow my flow and my ideas. I cannot feel pigeonholed, so I hope that you can respect that. I hope I can respect that also. You know, any like advice you hear about YouTube is like, you gotta choose a niche and like be consistent and blah, blah, blah. It's all stuff I can't do. <laughs> I'm not gonna do, I mean, I'm not gonna do that. So whatever. Should I post my music on this channel? That is something I've been confused about also. I have a separate channel for my music right now, and I had been posting on that, then I posted some music here, then I deleted that and started posting it on that other channel. So that's the one thing that I'm confused about because I feel like that niche is too far away from the other stuff. There's a YouTuber I really admire, her name is Sorel Amor, and she like posts like content, kind of like what I want to post, and she just puts her music on there, I don't know. She also has like a bajillion followers and I have like 10,000, so. I don't know about that. That's the one, that's one thing I'm confused about. I'd like to hear your opinion. So finally, it's time to apologize. I have a tendency when the going gets tough to run away and not have tough conversations that I need to have. I just wanna say, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. That was not ever my intention, but regardless of my intention, I may have done so and I'm sorry. I hope we can still be buddies. Well, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> eh.